In recent years, consumption habits around the world have changed, but bread is one of the main staples that cannot be replaced. Whilst its name changes from culture to culture, all kinds of bakery products, such as cookies, cakes, Turkish baklava and pastries, are associated with life's enjoyable moments. So what makes dough so irresistible? Water? Sugar? Salt? Flour? When you consider that bakery products are right at the centre of our lives, it is important to know about flour. So how is flour produced? The flour production process that takes place after the wheat is brought to the flour mill may seem complex, but in fact it can easily be classified. The first stop on the journey to becoming flour for the wheat gathered in from the fields during the harvest season is the tremie pit. Before the wheat is unloaded, samples are taken from at least three points of the lorry. These are sent to the laboratory for examination. Only if the wheat is found to be suitable for flour production is the lorry unloaded. From here, the wheat is transported by means of conveyors and an elevator to the grain separator, where unwanted materials are removed. The wheat is then transported, again by an elevator, to dry wheat silos, where it is stored in concrete and steel silos of different tonnages until production. The wheat from various silos is blended according to what type of flour is to be produced. It is then cleaned by being put through a grain separator, distoner, sorter and scourer. In these stages, the stalk, straw, stones, corn and similar waste materials are removed, with the scourer being the last in the process removing waste materials through friction. After this, the radial scanner removes wheat that has been cracked by the scourer. The wheat then goes through a tempering process where the humidity of the wheat will be increased. The wheat, having been through the scourer and scanner, is now ready to go to the mill and become flour. Having been cleaned, the wheat is weighed on the yield scale and then sent to the crushing rollers, where the first grinding process takes place. Here, the wheat is blown and the semolina is separated from the crust. The mixture is sent to the sifters, passing through airlocks with the help of a pneumatic fan and a pneumatic circuit system. If the flour coming out of any roller is of the required coarseness, it is transported via pipes to a flour screw. Otherwise, the material is divided into classes and rolled and sifted again until the required size is attained. A semolina crusher and drum detacher are used in order for the material that is crushed and scaled off in the rollers to be better screened by the sifter. The bran from the wheat is sent to a bran finisher and the flour and semolina in the bran is separated. The flour, middlings and bran formed in the last stage then pass through the yield scales. By means of a blower, the flour and bran are then sent to the silos for storage. The flour is kept in silos for a certain amount of time. It is then sent by compressed air to diverters. The diverter helps distributing the flour to control sifters. The flour is then sifted by the control sifters one last time. The flour is weighed on automatic scales and packed. The middlings and bran are weighed on a different scale and packed separately. They are transported to the area of loading by means of flour sacks, pallets and long channels. <music>